Good Monday morning, everybody. Chris Allen here with a 10 a.m. update on the latest on the possibility of severe weather here in southern Kentucky. We're still kind of in alert mode because we're not really sure at this point just how the afternoon will play out. It all depends on the instability, but we're going to keep our first alert day going here uh, with the heads up that there could be a few severe thunderstorms with damaging winds, large hail possible this afternoon across southern Kentucky, especially if we get the uh, instability factor up and the sun is beginning to come out now and that's a concern and that we're going to heat up the atmosphere and get a lot of what we call surface instability. And if we get enough uh, thunderstorms rotating, then we could uh, find a few tornado warnings possible this afternoon. This is not going to be a widespread tornado outbreak, but a few tornadoes are certainly possible with any thunderstorms that develop. You're looking down Scottsville Road from exit 22 of I-65 from the sleep-in weather cam. And as you can see, after the morning thunderstorms, the sky is beginning to break apart now. And we're getting some sunshine coming through. That's going to heat up the surface instability and make things unstable as we get into the afternoon. Just how much is still yet to be determined. Here's a look at Doppler Max HD at 10:12 a.m. You can see the thunderstorms that came through this morning are now well east of us and continuing to move off to the east. There have been some uh, severe thunderstorms east of us and north of us. In fact, some hail has been uh, reported up in the metro Louisville area just within the last hour. You see the break that we're getting back here uh, to our west, things are looking pretty dry, but this is where the skies are beginning to open up just a little bit. And that's our concern is that before the next piece of energy gets here, uh, that surface instability could heat up the atmosphere, make it more unstable, and therefore the severe weather risk you see there all across uh, southern Kentucky and northern middle Tennessee in and through the afternoon hours. Rainfall this morning via the Western Kentucky University Kentucky Mesonet sites. Anywhere from a tenth to three tenths of an inch of rain, four tenths over at Albany. Temperatures as of 10 a.m. right now, upper 50s to low 60s, but it won't take that much heat this afternoon to fire up those thunderstorms. Future Max Predictor saying at 1130, we're still going to see that band of showers and thunderstorms to the east and north of us. We go through time, and yes, we do see redevelopment at 3 o'clock this afternoon or so. But at this point, those do not look severe, but don't let your guard down. There is a very good possibility we could see another round of uh, discrete uh, cell development this afternoon. That would be individual cells and thunderstorms that could turn severe. And then uh, very little activity overnight. Tomorrow morning, 4 a.m., another cluster of thunderstorms coming through the area. 6 a.m. for the drive into work and to school in the morning. There could be some heavy downpours of rain and thunderstorms about like it was this morning. And then even through the morning hours tomorrow until all this begins to pull away by Tuesday afternoon. And then we finally get a break on Wednesday. The forecast, 71 today. More thunderstorms this afternoon. Some of those could be strong to severe. 75 on Tuesday. Repeat, rinse, that sort of thing. Rinse, repeat, whatever you want to say. Uh, kind of the same thing tomorrow with that severe weather risk. We get a break Wednesday, then more thunderstorms. Thursday, Friday, scattered about Sunday and Monday. A live update on all this coming up at 11 on midday and, of course, to the WBKO app and streaming live to WBKO.com.